Whoa, whoa. Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? My partner and I need a way into that vault. We got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps? And he said that inside that vault is the... You know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. Well, yeah, there was this big broadcast, but shouldn't you know it was in there? I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But those were the last of our caps. No, someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? Hmm. Well, if your overseer crossed our path, she sure wasn't broadcasting it. Sorry. You might ask at the Wayward. Seems like they set themselves up to be a natural stopping point. They sent you out here without a weapon? Be a quick trip trying to do this unarmed. Here. Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name. He gave us a couple of leads to chase down. In exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. About Appalachia? Other than it's a graveyard? There's that. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after. Well, these things showed up. The Scorched. They're merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. We both came over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous, really dangerous. But it's better than where we've been. Watch yourself out there. Thank you.
New face. Welcome to the Wayward. Duchess will take care of you inside. A couple of those vending machines on the porch if you just need bullets and meds. Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Sweetheart, I think you must be sick. Because pointing a gun at me in my own bar is a terminal affliction. Look around. Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you- Hey! Who the hell are you? What are you- Shit! Jammed. Fine. But none of us are going anywhere till I get what I want. So just start talking and we can all go about... I told you it was gonna end badly. Thank you for the distraction there, friend. Now, why don't you come over here where I can get a look at you? Check in with Duchess first, then we can chat. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. But well, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. We haven't been here real long, sweetheart. But the majority of our patrons thus far have been of the troublemaking type, unfortunately. Nope. No overseers to speak of. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See, that boy we put down? He's not the first of his crew to roll in here, but I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house, but my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? Fifty caps if you can get the job done. Primarily... Primarily because your security, other than me right now, are one former contractor and a robot that has no guns and thinks it's a cow. To not put too fine a point on it. So I could absolutely use another set of hands if you're willing to lend them. Only that they want something from Crane. But I think we could use that to our advantage. That is, if you're doing this job for me. I don't care how you deal with them. Sweet talk, string up their leader by his ears. Hell, buy them all ice cream sandwiches. Whatever you can do to get them to stop harassing us is fine by me. Only seems fair. The details, then. Now. Each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Well, aren't you a smart cookie? And I think I know just how to do it. Just give me one second. I think I'll just... Uh, I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, 
not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? You vault boys and girls carry yourselves different, like you matter. Plus, your pit boy was a dead giveaway, but that's beside the point. You think you can work from these schematics? That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, nah, I'm not bragging or anything, but I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course, you're gonna need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. <laughs>